Russian troops are afraid to stay in Crimea, they are rapidly leaving the cities there. The Ukrainian military is successfully carrying out attacks on the facilities of the Russian army in the occupied Crimea, destroying air defense batteries and airfields. The strategic actions of the Ukrainian military in Crimea are preparing the ground for future F-16 airstrikes. Atesh agents noted that recently the Russian military began to pass through cities very quickly and did not stay there for a long time, fearing surveillance and photo fixation. We want to inform them that this will not help. The Atesh movement monitors every unit, knows every sump, along the routes, all traffic routes and records movements on all routes, said the partisans. So see you at the parking lot of the Magistral shopping center. And we are waiting for the people of Aksyonov, Russia's protege in occupied Crimea at their favorite place, near the Red Caves, concluded in Atesh. Over the past few weeks, the Ukrainian military has carried out several successful attacks on Russian army facilities in the Russian-occupied Crimea. In particular, several batteries of Russian S-300 and S-400 air defense systems were destroyed. Belbek airfield near Sevastopol was also attacked. According to Elina Beketova, an ex expert on democracy at the center for the analysis of European politics, the strikes by Ukrainian military were successful thanks to thorough preparation and systematic work as well as the help of the Western allies in satellite and aerial reconnaissance. At the same time, the Ukrainian military successfully destroys the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation. The authors of the article add that the destruction of the Crimean Bridge can become a significant symbolic victory for Ukraine and a real blow for Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin. According to the analyst, the destruction of the bridge is inevitable and even the Russians understand it. Frederick Mertens, a strategic analyst at the Hague Center for Strategic Studies, believes that by attacking air defense in Crimea, Ukraine is preparing the ground for future F-16 strikes. Crimea is vulnerable. The Russians have relatively limited room for maneuver on the peninsula. Putin has a lot to lose, both politically and militarily. So if a limited number of fighters can make a real impact, then it is here and over the Black Sea, which becomes fully accessible after the air defense in Crimea is dismantled, emphasizes the analyst. Russian President Vladimir Putin has arrived in Democratic People's Republic of Korea on a state visit, Russian media reported. Images of Putin's arrival in the capital Pyongyang and the welcoming ceremony have been distributed on official Russian telegram channels. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un personally welcomed Putin at the plane ramp. State media RIA reported that the two leaders paused and talked animatedly with each other for several minutes before reaching their motorcades. The Russian president is visiting Pyongyang at the invitation of Kim Jong-un. This will be Putin's third meeting with Kim since 2019. Vladimir Putin last visited North Korea in 2000 after his election as president of Russia, where he met with Kim's predecessor and late father Kim Jong-il. Putin and Kim Jong-un met in 2019 when the North Korean leader visited Russia's far eastern city of Vladivostok. On his way to North Korea, Vladimir Putin made a stopover in Russia's Siberian Republic of Yakutia. Ahead of the visit, Pyongyang streets were decorated with Russian flags and posters of Putin. Военно-тактику, по-моему, сейчас глядя, а люди пока не